I want to know what God expects of me as a father. Yeah, there is so much in scripture about being a father. I'm accepting the fact I have to learn how to do the hard things. We are inviting any man whose heart is willing and courageous to join us in this resolution. That resolution hit me right between the eyes. If you're going to do this, then do it right. Are you ready to make this commitment before God and your family? Yes, I am. I, Nathan Hayes, do solemnly resolve before God. I will walk in integrity as a man answerable to God. I will seek to honor God, obey His word, and do His will. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Hello, my name is Ken Bevel. I played Nathan Hayes in the movie Courageous. And we're standing on a location where one of the most pivotal scenes in the movie was shot, the resolution scene. And today I'm here with Alex and Stephen Kendrick uh, to talk about the resolution and where did that idea come from? Well, when Stephen and I were praying through the resolution uh, and the Courageous movie, and even really the book, The Resolution for Men, we were drawn to uh, Joshua 24:15, uh, which basically is when Joshua is standing in front of the men of Israel and he says, choose today whom you're gonna serve. As for me and my house, we'll serve the Lord. So Joshua was resolved to pursue the Lord as the spiritual leader of his household, regardless of what the men of Israel were going to do. And so in like manner, our, our dad kind of did that same uh, sort of thing in his youth. When he was uh, getting married and he began having uh, the, the three of us sons, uh, he said, you know what, I'm, I'm going in this direction and I'm going to pursue the Lord and teach my family to do the same thing. Whenever a man does that, his family is going to be blessed because of it. You see it in Christian history too, Jonathan Edwards, John Wesley wrote out lists of resolutions that they were going to live by and it helped them be found faithful to the Lord. And in Psalms, the word steadfast. Uh, is really a picture of a man who stands up, commits himself to a direction that he's gonna do what's right as unto the Lord. And so um, we wanted to take God's priorities in scripture for men and challenge men, commit to these priorities, you know? Let's commit to fulfill all the responsibilities God has given us and then live for what matters most. Matter of fact, let's talk about the word resolution just for a second. Uh, we chose that word on purpose. A resolution is not a promise of perfection. It is a commitment to a direction. None of us are perfect. And from King David to Peter, uh, many godly men have fallen, but the point is to get right back up, get right with God and other people and continue pursuing that direction. So uh, even Proverbs 24, 16 says, a righteous man falls seven times, yet rises again. What's so important about a ceremony? Well, in its simplest terms, we wanna keep special things special. You know, a wedding ceremony is sacred, it's very important. And you have two people that love one another making a commitment in the sight of God, their family and, and loved ones. And so we're, we're taking something that is um, honoring to God and making it honorable. And so uh, when, when we do the ceremony, it's to commemorate this, it's to say, look, this is an important milestone in our lives. Uh, I know that a lot of men will probably be tempted just to want to sign something, stick it on the wall, and not really talk about it that much. But when you do a ceremony, you are making special things special, but also you're clarifying for yourself and your family uh, what the priorities and commitments are of your life. You're leaving a strong legacy for your children. They're seeing and hearing you say, as for me and my house, we'll serve the Lord. They're seeing up on the wall the commitments of your life the baton that you're passing on to them. And then thirdly, accountability. It helps uh, you have a circle of friends around you that can speak into your life, pray for you, and encourage you and help you keep your commitments. Okay, so men are going through the book and they want to know how to do a resolution ceremony. Uh, are there any common elements about a resolution ceremony? There are. Uh, we, we think there should be uh, four elements, no matter the size of the ceremony. The first one is a verbal time of commitment. Like Joshua, this is when uh, someone would say uh, verbally in, in the sight of uh, his family and friends around them, uh, this is what I'm committing my life to. This is what I'm resolved to do. Secondly, a signing, where you are affixing your name to a document in the movie we presented as the resolution document and saying, this is what I'm agreeing to do in the sight of God and others. And you're posting it on the wall of your home as a reminder and as a witness of what you committed to. The, the third element would be a time of prayer and blessing when the minister or mentor that's overseeing the ceremony will pray over and bless those men. And then those men can turn and pray over and bless their families as well. And then lastly, just a time of celebration and take pictures of those families. Let there be refreshments afterwards or you, or you go out to a meal together. Celebrate uh, this great moment in the lives of these men and these families. So one more thing we want to say to you. It's so important that you go through the book first, The Resolution for Men, and here's why. Each of the resolution points is unpacked in the book. 
We pulled all of this from God's Word. It is not original with us. And so when you see it fleshed out, it gives you a better image for what it's supposed to look like to live according to these resolutions. So remember, when you do your ceremony, be creative with it. You know, depending on the size of your group and the location you're doing this at, we encourage you to be creative, but please include the verbal time of commitment, a signing, prayer and blessing, and finally a celebration. So we want to encourage you to seek the Lord in prayer and ask Him to give you His ideas for your context and the group of people that you work with. And let's help leave a new legacy for this next generation of faithfulness to God, to, of faithfulness to our, our wives and faithfulness to our children. And when men commit to live for what matters most, it will change the world for Christ. God bless you.